Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. I'm Peter Moxling, Keeper Emeritus, and last time we had an Advent Retaliation mission that, uh, from what I remember, went totally fine. We got no wounds, so yeah, tired. We... Barely... Yeah, we barely even have anyone tired. Wow, okay. Yeah, that went super well then. <laughs> okay, what's Q look like? Codex Brain in two days, Psylive in four days, experimental heavy weapons, I think, in... Oh, the no, aliens power weapons. have always been monsters. From the very beginning, it was one failed science experiment after another. Even with the advent forces, they tried to disguise it, but they're no different underneath all that armor. And now it comes to this, an entire facility dedicated to wiping us out. And not just that, but turning us into what? Some kind of concentrate they're using for God knows. We should have known the Elders would return. We should have known they never left. Now Bradford, that facility was not dedicated to wiping us out. It was dedicated to making that concentrate you mentioned. And one day an intel collection, okay. So basically two days until Codex Brain, got it. Intel, maybe. Eh. Building relay, sure. For East Asia. Oh, don't worry. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. I'm glad to see our joint effort paid off like we hoped. Okay, don't forget to do this. Will would be nice, I guess. That's kind of what I'm doing at this point. Mobility, dodge, uh, combat intelligence, hacking, aim, and plus damage on swords, admittedly. Uh, promotion, eh. Dodge and mobility. Okay, so form soldier bond. Actually, mobility... Yeah, you two are at rank two. So mobility for you plus uh, bond to the next threshold? Sure. You and just that just just because it needs a soldier doesn't need to be your bond mate and negate wound sure go ahead my followers will lead this action to victory commander we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. Think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to tie in, sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. New objective added. 
maybe clean up the broken glass and stop the electrical arcing before you get back to work? Nah, actually, she's she might be reconstructing some stuff from memory. That actually is probably something you need to do in the moment. It looks like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. In the field, the Codex appears as an anomalous form in an almost constant state of flux, seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, it was apparently not immune to the effects of conventional weaponry, having dissipated before leaving behind this object. Codex Brain, codename Rubik. The Codex... The Codex itself is a remarkable entity, far beyond our expectations of what a sentient biological organism could or should be. Our limited exposure to it leaves a number of open questions, and as it appears to phase or flux out of our visible spectrum, it will undoubtedly prove to be a difficult specimen to study. In any case, our troops were able to recover what can only be described as the Codex Brain, a central processing unit encompassing data storage, communications, tactical control, as well as a host of other functions we've yet to identify. With the Shadow Chamber in place, Shen and I conducted a thorough, albeit difficult, series of experiments to unravel the mysteries of the device. Through a series of high-frequency exposures, we were successful in forcing the Codex to reveal itself beyond the confines of the brain alone. Shen expressed varying concerns about the well-being of the Codex, as it appeared to be responding, and even resisting, our efforts to decrypt the data and access the Advent Network. I assure her any indication of pain or active intolerance of our testing was merely a byproduct of the procedure. Before the Codex destroyed itself, along with our containment area, we did manage to recover a subset of the data containing what appears to be a set of map coordinates. It will take more time to work through the remaining fragments, but in the interim, we have, we have a lead to pursue. Project Encrypted Data 11 Days Go back over to our other stuff Research for a moment. Research is proceeding as planned, Commander. You know what? Uh, Psychopod Breakdown, I think, might be Gremlin Tier 3. Let's do that. From what I've been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a Sectopod, under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a Sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized Advent units, which were likely derived from the sectopod itself. This machine seems to be entirely autonomous. I'll ensure that this new project takes highest priority, Commander. Once we have something to report, I'll notify you immediately. Oh, cool. I had fully expected to find that the aliens were conducting questionable experiments involved. New objective added. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. I've marked the location Shen pulled from the Signal's Codex. coming through clear. It's a remote region, out in the woods away from any populated areas. We'll need to- No one gets to talk! Located. Inside knowledge, the effect of all weapon modifications is increased. Ooh, I forgot that was a thing. So that probably increases everything by like 5%. So uh, advanced repeater goes from 10% instant kill to 15%, and superior goes from 15% to 20%. No, we do not have the intel for this. 80 intel, yes we do. Regional contacts located. And can build a relay? Go ahead. Setting course for Sector 9. We Western have 10 United supplies States. and zero intel. I think I know what mission we're about to get. <laughs> if the game does actually take those into uh, consideration, that is. Silence. Yay. Now operational. Okay. 
So our normal PSYOP is not currently on uh, covert action. So let's go ahead, engineer, you, requires a PSYOP, trains soldier as a PSYOP. Yeah, second cell on upgrade. Um, I thought we just threw someone in there and turned them into a PSYOP. Does it require something? It probably requires a rookie. Ah, whoops. Uh, okay, okay. I can start to work on this then. Finish up this. Together, we have succeeded in our task. We'll deal with that in a moment. Oh. So that covert action does require the bond mate. Whoops. My bad. Any chance we got another one of those? No. Ability points isn't the worst, actually. Yeah, sure. You're still tired for three days. Let's put you in. The gate wound. Soldier, so yes. Go ahead and put you. We will begin the covert action immediately, Commander. Okay. Finish up this. Go to the black, or not the black site, the uh, black market. We're reading you. Over to you. Avenger plotting new course. Try to get up to 50, I think, supplies. It might be 25. Then it's uh, by a rookie. Market is open. Cool. Then put rookie into side training. Recruit. Yeah, it's 25. Okay. You two. You. Yes. Getting a second PSYOP up and running wouldn't be the worst, but I'm realistically not going to use them anyway, so it's not actually useful. And it takes like 225, I think I saw, supplies. Uh, in terms of power, we could take it, but whatever, it's not actually going to be useful. That being Market said, yeah, can't buy ship because we don't have enough intel. We can get 161 supplies, though. Or we can, yeah, we can get supplies out of selling intel. Avengers so if we go here, scan course. for intel, and if that gets, a, gets us enough to buy the supplies, that still isn't enough to actually get the PSYOP upgrade. Whoops. Hellfire projector, the upgrade to the flamethrower. Still a flamethrower, so not great, but yeah, it's something. This will prove to be an important step forward. Yeah, especially since I just realized I spent all my money without saving for the Mark III Gremlin. Whoops. Central claims to have seen one of these things up close back in the day. Despite a lot of speculation, there was no pilot to be found once we pried it open. Sectopod breakdown. Codename Cyclops. New item, Gremlin Mark III. When we first brought this thing in, some of the troops were still adamant that once we opened it up, we'd find a sectoid or worse at the helm. Fortunately, our precautions weren't necessary. There's nothing organic inside, no operator providing physical directions. Unless they're triggering it remotely, all indications point to this sectopod being an entirely autonomous weapon, operating according to the parameters of its system programming. This is exactly the sort of weapon that would have raised eyebrows in the past. I know Dad would have would have been apprehensive about arming a robot and sending it and sending it on its way. Less so than you may think, Lily. It's pretty clear at this point the aliens aren't bound by any moral or ethical obligations. If it's efficient and destructive, they seem to have no problem setting it loose on us. Oh. It's actually useful, so, so sure. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as <sighs> the research is complete. So close. Okay. Very difficult. Get a scientist. Increase detection radii. It'd be nice to counter vigilance, but I don't care about another scientist. Very difficult. Basically guarantees alien ruler, I guess. Uh, automated defenses. High concentration of robotic enemies. So actually that makes it easier because we can take more blue screen. 
normal difficulty, intel, intel would be nice since I spent all of it, stiletto rounds, some rounds give the bleeding effect, eh, as long as the enemy doesn't shoot at you, it's whatever. Very difficult, get an engineer, hit an event. No enemy unknown. No enemy unknown. No enemy unknown, but there is a sect pod. Given that we have the data decryption is slow, I think scientists might actually still be useful. And vigilance can be annoying if it triggers. So, sure, I guess, I guess let's do this one. 11 total enemies. Oh, dear God. There's only four listed. There's like, there's going to be a lot of duplicates on these two, I think. Like, we're going to have like four specters, six codexes, two heavy mechs and a sectopod or something. Okay. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. So, is our main sniper back by any chance? Utility items, weapons, ar yep, armor. Hire for one day. Next one's on covert action. Guess we aren't taking y'all. You. You. Templar is unlikely to be as useful as usual, but because they're bonded, I want to make sure to take both of them. Let's take the spark. And then specialist, let's make sure you have haywire. Yeah, haywire as well. Grenadier. Second grenadier. Hold on. I can give you blue screen and that. You know, if we are taking double grenadier, ah, uh, no. Let's put you on frost. And then EMP bomb as the backup, so we have two EMP grenades. Then you. Probably both, of, probably on uh, as is. You know, if you're just doing... If you just have that, actually, if you just have the blue screen, then let's go ahead and take one, two, third ranger is still a colonel. Okay, at that point, just take a colonel level ranger. Like, I have three colonel rangers. I can take the top one. Oh, no, not you. You, you, put you on blue screen. That way we have blue screen with a good shotgun. No sniper. Put you on Arashi or whatever it is. Or disruptor rifle. Then usual loadout. That. And that. And we're currently on Mark 2. Uh, can we upgrade to Mark 3? I don't think so. Mark 3 would require 50 supplies. It's not even that expensive. Oh. Oh well. You on Mimic. You on Dragon, I guess. Uh, let's put you on Tracer so that you're more likely to hit. Can't change your stuff. Can't change your stuff. You to that. Put you on Shredstorm Cannon. And you over to War. And keep you on Blue Screen. Let's keep you on the Blaster Launcher because that's basically an, a targetable rocket. I haven't been using it so far because because it's the one you have infinitely. Like you can you just hey you can put it on everyone who can take a heavy weapon. But honestly, it's pretty good. So yeah, sure, let's give it a shot. Changed your weapon. Changed your weapon. You're on disruptor. You're on uh, the shotgun. Changed your weapon. Loadout has blue screen. Loadout has blue screen. Loadout has shred. You have oh wait did I actually didn't check if you have haywire or not? Uh, abilities. You do have Haywire. Okay. So we can take over a robot. And then, of course, you have Banish and Annihilate, so you're just ridiculous. Uh, weapon upgrade. Superior expanded. Oh, yeah. Yeah, instant, chills cur instant kill is currently 15, even though it was 10 before. That's bonus action. Are you on bonus action? I want to say no. Stock expanded. Do I have superior stock? No. I have superior, or that is superior expanded. What about you? Superior expanded. Adventure Peter, I just checked this, duh. 
Okay, uh, that's probably good to go then. I'm missing the Wraith suit. You can't take it, and you're the only one that I would want to put it on, though, because you like having both those items. You like having all these items. You're already on a special armor. Yeah, okay, let's go. Ranger deployed. Squad green to deploy. Shen came across an odd series of transmissions coming out of this region, and we've narrowed it down to a hidden alien communications relay transmitting to the Advent Network. We can't pass up any opportunities to disrupt their progress on the latest operation. So we're moving in to take out that relay. Neutralize any hostile contacts near the site. Lock it down and destroy the target. Okay, so this is destroy the relay. Don't protect it. <laughs> Neutralize the enemies. Destroy the transmitter. Town, I think, in Advent Patrol Zone 18. Outskirts of... I am never going to pronounce any Chinese place name correctly, so I'm going to go with Chongqing and just accept that I don't know, and accept that I don't know the language. Operation Steel Fort. Let's go. Boop, boop. Menace 1 5. The communications relay is up ahead. Move in and destroy the target. Okay. That's down the street into that building. Looks like cover might be a, a bit of a bitch, but we should be fine. What you here to we start with? Towards enlightenment, our oppressors patrol near here. Okay. It is incredibly dangerous to put you here in case they move this way. Put you here because then they have to patrol over here and over here. I can get there. Okay, so remember, both heavies. No, <laughs> I got rid of one of the heavies. Uh, the heavy and the ranger are the ones with blue screen. That looks like such a large detection to me, but it's just because I'm used to seeing it with reapers. That's yeah, literally in that building, okay. Okay, and also 11 total enemies. You're on shotgun, so let's put you a bit close, but still unlikely to be revealed, so let's put you here. You there. You I gotta be careful with because you can't use cover. Let's put you here. You... Here. In my hand. That could be a problem. If it moves toward us, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight squares, then reveals us. I have seen things do anything, do anywhere between not moving and moving like um, an entire movement and a half by the looks of it. I know it's not literally, but it feels like it is. Uh, we'll see what happens on that front. Overwatch. Okay, good direction for us, at least for not getting revealed. Not quite fully out of view, but whatever. That, no, stop, don't do that. I do not like you doing that, stop. Hey, hey, ah. I won square? Did they really stop at that point? Well, fuck you! I mean, lightning reflexes. Y'all? Not y'all. Okay. Hey, I'll take good luck. No, 
Blue screen. Just, just, just blue screen. Sure, takes you further away from the others, and you have blue screen, so this should be just ridiculous. 18 damage. Solid. Then means that you can slash, get a kill, get focus. Looks like you might see. Yep, okay. Watch. There we go. Hmm. Overdrive triple shot on you might actually work. You don't have haywire because that's robotic, but not but not a robot, I guess. So if I do this, this might blow up the full cover the Codex or Spectre is using, and it should shred the armor. Soon our prey will fall. Then that. Good. You still have a shot. Not great. Uh, you do have haywire though. Oh yeah. They wire for that. Grab that What's the odds? Ninety of a stun, forty-five of control. Hmm. Make a new friends. Okay, you can only see the spectre, unfortunately. So let's start with overdrive. Or you can only see the heavy mech now. Okay, sure. Target destroyed. And to here. And to here. I'm going to need ammunition, Commander. I'm not sure how stock affects blue screen here, actually. I know I shouldn't hope to miss, but I am curious. I suspect that stock just overrides with guarantee on a miss, so blue screen doesn't apply. Thankfully, I don't got a no today. By the numbers. Okay, cannot. Uh, oh, right, Dark Dragon Love is there. Uh, cannot haywire this. Since we can't haywire, let's just overwatch, overwatch. and parry. Micro missiles is still a danger. We Ooh, that clone house is good. That's the turn. There's reinforcements. Shit. Alien reinforcements on approach. Reload. Reload. Blue move to there. Good, can see. Go for that. Good shred. We'll pay the price. Hopefully gets the kill. Good. Looks like the car is not going to explode. Has come. Next three mechs. That is a fantastic EMP bomb location if I can get there, and I don't think I can. Not a problem. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it is so close. Uh, hold on. Okay, teamwork with the Ranger. In that case, if you go here, do you reveal? No. Teamwork you... Will overcome. Sure full, full move here is risky because it'll blow up if the uh, robots get a chance. I 
I can hit those two there. Is there an angle where I can hit all three? Yes, apparently. Grenade! Yeah, none of them are dead. Ugh. I mean, that works. Hack defense is decreased. This should be pretty easy. Hundred percent of of a stun, better than not odds of taking control. Come on, yeah. I'm in. Now you don't get any actions, right? Oh, hi, sex pod. Probably should have thought about that. Huh. Yep, just those two. Uh, let's see. Gonna pull you back to full cover here. The objective is close. You can't really get any cover, but you're also in shadow. Remote start does not help. Claymore can't reach, no duh. Let's go ahead and put you in double full, but way further up. That way you can do more stuff next turn. Okay, this just got dangerous. I think we're good. It's just, uh... Huh... Yeah, any chance y'all can just shoot at the hacked mech and just keep missing so you keep wasting fight. actions? No. No, you can't. Okay. Luckily, tactical analysis means they can't micro-missile the car. Nice. Yes, Sectopod, we know you can stand up tall. Rather, I suppose for anyone who this is their first campaign, no, they wouldn't know that. Hi! Okay. Hmm. Yeah, uh, homing mine. On this. You know what? Yeah, let's not fuck around with this. Go ahead. And then banish. Go. One. You know, it looks like two or three. It's not dead yet. Dear God. Okay. We do have Overwatch. You have Shadow Step, though, right? Come on. It does not feel like popping up. Okay. Actually, we can start with this, then. Rocket Launcher U2. That might take your entire turn. Whoops. The only one you can see. Start by going here so you're away from the explosion radius. Now you can see three. Yeah, all in that line, go ahead and shred storm. Two kills. With superior efficiency. You know what? Let me begin there to uh, give an extra turn. And that's your entire turn. I gotta keep remembering that that takes up a turn. Okay. 
Cannot blue move up top. Just you two. Pass or discharge doesn't quite reach. Blue move to up here so you have half cover. Try the hack, see what happens. Yeah, squad across all action points. I'll take that. Hey, I got it. Woohoo. I suppose using the uh, Grenadier's actions first would have been good. Whatever. Pastor can hit those two at the moment. If I go to here, because the Mimic Beacon order. is still live, so it should... Thank you for messing. Nope, not scanning. Capacitor. Cannot hit all three. In that case, hit you two. Gremlin, discharge nine. I get a kill there? Nope, but disoriented on both of them. Okay. You know, I think that you. Yeah, 100%. Go ahead. If we can get the Grenadier to see the mech, then we can, uh, uh, what's it called again? Hail Bullets to get the guaranteed hit with blue screen. Heading out! Hail Bullets. On you. Okay, that's good for that. You do not have Reaper. You have Ionic Storm. Yes, that is a perfect Ionic Storm. Yeah, that works. And right back up to full because Ionic Storm refunds on kill. I'm reloading. Can't quite get a kill with just that. Uh, you to there. Because I just, yeah, neutralize all enemy targets is done. Which means that, uh, yes, that works. And we do, it doesn't say we're on fire. Okay, I'm going to trust you then, game. Which then lets us get the shot for the kill for the end of the mission. I mean, we took the one bad shot from the Sectopod, but other than that, I actually kind of like how that mission went. Like, I like kind of the strategies that I used during that. It didn't go perfectly, but it was fun. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed tomorrow for equipment upgrades. Initial reports that the suspension of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. Most damage spark- okay, yeah. That shred storm was disgusting. Nothing boosts morale like a few dead aliens. We got more than our share today. Gravely wounded, three days. Welcome to late game XCOM. And all but our specialist is tired. The spark obviously cannot become tired. And y'all are colonels, aside from the spark, so none of you could promote anyway. One codex brain, two specters, seven advent mechs, one sectopod, one trooper, one purifier. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. Encountered Vigilance. Yay! But that is it for the mission, and thus the episode. Chance to panic when encountering a mech. Oh god, no. Put you into healing later in three days when you come back, apparently. Okay. Ooh. Bond. Yeah! Tier 3 for you. Go ahead. Six days. Anyway, that's it for the mission, and thus the episode. So... 
If this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do all that YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful moment of your day, and hope to see you in the next one, where we will hopefully not have a mission so quickly that I regret putting them into training, or into a bond training. Whoops. Hell, yeah, well, come back next time come back next time to find out. Bye. I don't like the fact that we're chasing another set of coordinates into the middle of nowhere. We've done it before, and we didn't like what we found then either. Wilderness or not, the aliens could be setting up an ambush, or worse for all we know. Our people will be prepped and ready for a fight. I just wish we had more to go on.